Look at that! There's like a barcode up there. I think I might have to get a little closer before I can actually get this thing started off. There we go. And let's uh, scan that glyph. Power doesn't die. It's passed on. Unlock the file. Alright, let's see what kind of puzzle we're faced with this time. He carried it with him. Find his inheritance. Franklin Delano Roosevelt Strategic Meeting 1944. What? Infrared. He carried it with him. I'm looking for an apple thing again, right? Because it was always... Is it? Is it this? ID? I did it! Haha! <laughs> I am the best! So I'm just looking for the apple things. Houdini, beginning the Chinese water torture cell escape, 1913. Look for more apple thing. Is this it? Ha ha! I did it again! Woo! And last but certainly not least, Gandhi during the salt march. Uh, this one could be a bit more complicated. Oh, wait, no, it's right there in front of us! How about it? I think they usually have me do like three. Passcode found, baby. File unlocked. I did it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Steven Plays Assassin's Creed 2. In the last few episodes uh, of the comments, you guys have been saying, Steven, are you aware that these are videos? These are actual videos that you can play, and they're not replaying the thing that you did. I'm going to be honest. No. <laughs> no, I did not know that. But, having read your comments, I now know that. Um, but, I was thinking that instead of, of taking the time to show these, I would wait until I got all of them and then just play all of them as one big long thing. Like uh, an, an extra video in the series or something. Uh, not to take up the time in an episode, but, you know, to to show this stuff off. There's a lot of people that said, um, you know, they watched other Let's Players do Assassin's Creed 2, and they never do this thing. It's uh, necessary to do for 100%, but not necessary to beat the game. I think it's incredibly interesting, and I haven't even seen these video things yet. So um, I'm going to save that for the for the end, but I'm going to work on continuing to collect the uh, the glyphs and uh, showing that. Hooray! I did it. I really need to turn that off. I feel like in the first game there was a limit to how much eagle vision you could use, but I'm honestly not even sure. You probably there probably wasn't even a, a limit, but I just decided to. Uh, to not use it very much, although I don't think there was a reason to really use it that much in the first game. Uh. At least now in the second game there is. Before I proceed, uh, I think I'm going to check and see what I can uh, what I can build. I don't know if I have any money in the chest right now. I probably don't. I do not. Um, but I'm getting a lot of money, and it Good wouldn't job. be a bad idea to so probably no, build a few no. more things. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've already updated the bank as far as it can go. We can update the art merchant, the blacksmith. Um, hmm. People have been saying in the comments about buying weapon or armor, but I'm honestly not that, that interested in that. Um, really not. It's something I would like to do eventually, but I really want to put all of my expendable income into the villa because that's going to create a bigger income for me faster. So that's, that's what I'm seeing as... Uh, the, the biggest advantage. Increase the city's value, increase the city's value. Let's open the uh, military barracks. There we go, so that's done. And then let's also get the mines back open. Um, bam. And I know I don't have very much money because I'm using it all on this, but it seems like a good a good thing to do. In fact, um, let's, let's get that well working as well. Haha, <laughs> there's a bit of a bit of a wordplay there. All right, I don't have enough money to do much other stuff, but that's going to greatly, greatly increase the city's value again. Should come up and tell me. And plus 11,000. So now whenever we ask Claudia... You here to look at the book? That's what you always say. We're at 23%. We're now getting 3,500 florins every 20 minutes. So this is good. All right. And we've, we have dawdled quite enough. Let's, uh, let's go to Florence and continue on our mission. There's the man I want to talk to. That was a smart move. All right, let's chat. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. 
I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! I love how this was something that should have probably been done immediately following the Medici mission, but instead I was like, nah, you guys just sit there. So Francesco's actually been trying to get in the back way for like days. Anyway, find and kill him. I would love to. I accept your offer for assassination. Suddenly it is night. Alright, so go... Yawn. What the f What the piss is going on? Hey, whoa. Oh, you guys work for me. Okay, good. Well, you have fun. I'm... I must be going. Quickly, to the rooftops! dun 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 man! There's my target. Let's see if I can get over there from here. Whoop! Yeah, there we are. Come on, buddy. And let's get this thing started off. Like father, like son. Or I guess in this case, it'd be like son, like father. So much fighting. You again! Why aren't you dead? Men! Slaughter him! Uh, climb the plots of Del Signora and kill him. I, okay, um, let's see. Is that something I'm going to be able to easily do? Or am I going to have, like, people down there trying to get me? So much death. Um, I don't know if I can climb from the outside, to be honest. It's something I might be able to do, but I'm kind of doubtful. Huh? Alright, let's see if I can climb up the, uh, outside of this. I, I kind of don't think I can. I think I have to go up. Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to go up inside. That's not a problem, though. Because I can assassinate from above. So I'm just going to go over here. Keep going, keep going. You're cool, you're cool, you're cool, you're all right. We're going to go around here, to the top here, until those guys are in focus. Oh, wait, is that not a door? <laughs> are you sure that's not a door? Because that looks like a door. Drop, grab. Oh, I thought that was a... Oh, see, here's what I thought. <laughs> I thought that that was a door, and that the guys in, in red robes were guarding it. But I now see that that's not the case, because they're like... Whatever cardinals, about, or something. It, okay, so you guys, I don't want to kill you. That's not, that's not my thing. That's not how I roll. I need to get up this building, and it actually looks like this is a good, easy, quick way to do it. So we'll just climb this. This seems like a good way. Apparently the way I was going to go up the side of the building was going to work, but... What's up, bro? Yeah! Get who? Get me? Oh, stabbed you quick. Oh, stabbed the third one. No one's paying attention. And you guys going to get stabbed because of that. Assassinate, assassinate, assassinate. Yeah! How How on earth? I stabbed everyone. Everyone got assassinated. How on... What? Are you kidding me? Why? Why did that happen? Assassinate. Assassinate. Assassinate! Oh, he blocked it. Oh, you're the first guy that blocked it. No, you didn't. I'm really confused as to what's happening. Because it's like, yeah, they know where you are. Oh, wait! No, now they don't. <laughs> you can kill them again. My men will make short work of you. Desist it! You're only delaying your inevitable and painful end. What do you think you're proving? That you're a loyal servant to that dog, Lorenzo? Death shall be your reward. <laughs> this is really I grew funny. tired of this game. Guards! Finish! Guards! Guards! No one's coming. It's just us now. Oh, that's awesome. Where'd you go? Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Are oh, we gonna play, son? Uh, get that fool! Get that fool! <laughs> run, little piggy, run! Whoa! Oh, you are not gonna get away from me. No way. Oh my god, you are so screwed. You are so screwed. Uh, nope, there we go. I was like, okay, come on, get it up. Yep. He didn't even get very far, man. Oh my now god. Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. 
requiescat in pace. You done, son. Bam! Good! LOL Francesco <laughs> Oh, gotta be going. See you guys later. That was freaking sweet. Man. Man, that was good. That was just so good. Sequence four is complete, baby. Woo! I think I'm gonna be socked into another place. Alright, and we're rebuilding something. This could be the same city, this could be a new city. Oh, still in Florence. Cool. But now, with 100% less, Francesco. Because he's... he's dead. He's very dead. I hope, even though it's been some time, that they just let him continue to hang from the building. That would be awesome. Hey, this is the same bridge where I fought Vieri. Hey, it's the Medici. What up, what up bro? Lorenzo's grandfather. Here's a bunch of information. I was kind of hoping it would be a uh, a video of like him, but I think they only do that for like the really really bad dudes. And Medici's a good guy, maybe. Speak. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain, my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Done and done. Woo! Man, I feel good. The Pazzi conspirators. Jacopo di Pazzi. The money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family. And he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnoni. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. 
Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. And now, they all gonna die. Hoop! I'm pretty excited about it. Assassination contracts unlocked. Now available through various pigeon coops in the region. So just various people who need to die can be killed. That's wonderful fun. Um, so what else do we have available to us? This is a memory start. It's probably for Leonardo. Um, and we're going to go see him in just a second. We also have assassination contracts available to us. I don't know if we're going to work on those right now. I think instead I'm going to go start this uh, memory and um, we will do a uh, assassination contract maybe next episode. For now, let's go uh, let's go start that memory. Knock knock! Guess who? It's you. Thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design. For delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. Poison blades? Poison blades? I'm game. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Interesting. Okay. A blade with bite. Synced. How does it work? So it's something I do have to select. Um, but if I want to use it, bam, I can actually poison people now. Too freaking cool. That's awesome. Uh, hidden blade upgraded. Okay, well that actually didn't take all that long, so we do still have time to actually try one of these things. Contact with the poison blade will cause an enemy to go to berserk after a small delay and then die. That sounds fun! Uh, okay, since we do still have time in the episode, let's go to the nearest um, assassination contract and go see what it is. I don't know if they're just... They're probably extras... Um, similar to, like, the races in the game. But I don't actually know, and I... Unless I'm just having a terrible time remembering, I do not believe they were in the first game. Unless they were. Uh, so we're going to head over there now and see what it's all about. It's hopefully more storyline and not just generic, like... You know, this person needs to die! But it might be, I don't know. Get out of my way. You are... You're seriously in my way. Wait, where... I don't understand. Are they on the... Are they on the roof? They must be on the roof. Oh, uh, actually, they have to be on the roof. You guys told me that, um... Oh, they're in the pigeon coops! That's right, that's right. You guys told me that, uh, if the icon is dark, that means I'm on the same level. If it's light, it means it's on a different level, either above or below me. Here we go. Now we're in... Now we're in business. I must touch the pigeon. I love the pigeon. And I learned something. A plot against Florence's supply line has been detected. Ended by killing the merchant at the marketplace in the San Marco district. Okay. So, basically, just a quickie. Sometimes... <laughs> let's be honest, everyone. Sometimes you need a quickie. And this quickie involves me heading over to the market and ending some dude's life. I think I can manage that. Okay, so I'm entering into the green circle... So the guy I'm looking for is somewhere in the screen circle. I'm assuming I can use Eagle Vision to probably find him more easily. I think that's my dude. Can I get him from way up here? I think so. What up, son? Yeah! Whatever this is about, leave me out of it, please! Did I do it? Was that it? Is that... Wait, was this not the dude? 
Oh, this wasn't the dude. Oh, I think it was just a guard. I think maybe guards appear in red. Oops. Okay, no problem. Uh, not an issue. <laughs> I'm sure we'll still find him yet. Looking for a merchant, right? A merchant. Target located. Oh, of, of course he was. He was right behind the the guard I killed. Of course. All right. Do you have any money? Because I'd love to get your money. Do you have any money? Please tell me you got some money. Eighteen dollars. That's not bad. I'm just gonna take this with me. Excuse me, folks. So that was that, and we completed it. And uh, that's probably not something that you know continues to pop up. That's just. You know, there was three of them on the map, I think, so now there's two left. So I guess it's stuff, uh, stuff that we'll take care of as time goes on. Actually, no, this came back. Huh. Maybe these are infinite. I have no idea. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I am going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go throw this guy. That guy's like, nope, nope. I was trying to throw it at that guy, but it didn't really work that well. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time for more Steven Plays Assassin's Creed 2. Um, as I do- oh god. Oh, Jesus. Wow. That, uh... That just happened. You know what? Yeah! I'm sneaky! I'm sneaky! <laughs> oh god! <laughs>